your cries. Tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, and the poison and trials throw. Told that under a cold stone, days and nights has thirty one. Sweltered venom, sleeping god. Boil thou first egg the charmed pot. Double, oh, double, double toil and, and trouble. Fire, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Filet of finished snake in the cauldron boil and make. Eye of milk, toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm's sting, lizard's legs and owlet's wings. For a charm of powerful trouble, like hell broth boil and bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burning, cauldron bubble. Skin of dragon, tooth of wolf, which is mummy mine. Of the raven, salt sea shark, root of hemlock digged in the dark, liver of blaspheming Jew, tongue of goat and slips of you, silvered in the moon's eclipse, nose of Turk and Tartar's lips, finger of birth strangled pain, ditch delivered by a drab. Make the gruel thick and slab. Add thereto a tiger's chaudron for the ingredients of our cauldron. <laughs> double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burning in cauldron bubble. <laughs> Why dost thou cry, milady? 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 That's not the line. The line is milady. Why dost thou cry? No, it's why dost thou cry, milady? Are you sure? Hank, I'm about to go on. I don't have time for one of your stupid. It is not Hank you should be concerned with. Matilda? I'm not Matilda either, idiot. <sighs> Look, I'm about to go on. I don't have time for this. I'm the ghost of lines dropped. What? I am the spirit of every word you've ever uttered, Sally McFadden. Every missed cue, every blown punchline, every flubbed setup. I am the ghost of words that can't speak for themselves and have the misfortune to be reliant on your less than reliable mouth and brain. <laughs> Did Hank put you up to this? Are you that girl from the corner of Sullivan with the sandwich boards? With the girl from the corner of Sullivan with the sandwich boards, remember your Mrs. Krebs debacle and inherent the wind? What? Who told you about that? The good Lord gave us the heat, and the good Lord gave us the glands to sweat with. How was that so hard? I got the line right most nights. Oh, except opening night, and closing, and two of the matinees. The store was the shopkeeper. He wouldn't give me the cue line half the time. And it was his fault you kept forgetting the words to give me that old-time religion? I'm not musical, and there was that whole accent thing. Give me that old time religion, give me that old time religion, give me that old time religion, it's good enough for me. Will you please? A monkey with head trauma could spit that one out. I humped it! Oh well, good for you I guess, except wait, oh that's right, the script clearly called for the words. What are you doing here? Bruce is going to come into a lot of money someday, his uncle made a fortune selling men's garters. What? Come back little Sheba. No reason you should remember it now. You couldn't remember it then. That's not fair. I was terrific in that show. When you weren't staring blankly at your castmates, sure. Even when I forgot the lines, I got the gist of it. Like you're going to tonight? It's, why dost thou cry, milady? I don't think I can screw that up. Milady, why dost thou cry? No, milady is at the end of the line. Beginning. End. Beginning. End. Are you sure? Ah. Oh. Oh, look, what difference does it make? The line means the same thing. Oh, yeah, sure. The words don't really mean anything, right? It's only Shakespeare. Listen, I don't have time for this. I have to go on. Yeah, you wouldn't want it to be like, would you, Sally McFadden? What? Not like the time you left everyone in all wilderness standing on stage. You look 
looking like morons. Oh no. Oh yes. It is I, the ghost of entrance is missed, Sally McFadden. I don't believe this. Neither <gasps> could your fellow castmates as you left them waiting. <coughs> and waiting. Leaving Walter Higgins to improve upon O'Neill dialogue. Badly, I might add, for what seemed like hours. Oh, and it was already such a long play, wasn't it, Sally? And when you finally did come on, you were pretty much making up your own script by that point. You hear what the audience heard? Mr. O'Neill rolling in his grave. It only happened that once. On that show? What about the Pygmalion? That was a costume change. We can never get the shoes and the belt on in time. The road to hell is paved with Miss Quick Changes, Sally McFadden. Well, I'm not going to miss this entrance, so if you'll excuse me. Maybe you're coming early, like an act two of Tartuffe. Nothing kills comedy like a missed entrance. Of course, you can imagine what that did to your fellow castmates' lines. And yours too, Sally, remember? Trying to improvise and rhyme to meter? <laughs> <laughs> Why dost thou cry, my lady? Why dost thou cry, my lady? Well then, timing has never been your strong suit, has it, dearie? As witnessed by the response to your maid, cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> oh dear lord. I am the ghost of reviews awful. You knew he was coming, didn't you, bumpkin? Sally McFadden plays May in a flurry of chills, coos, and trottles. Not as much as a human being, <laughs> but as a housebird. Locked in a losing battle with Tourette's Syndrome. That was a character choice. Not an effective one, apparently. The usual amount of paraphrasing. And you only made that entrance in Act 1 on time because Gooper dragged you on. That was that critic, Charles, what's his name? He hated me because I snubbed him at a party. In the Crucible, McFadden once again displays the improbable, gawkish, stumbling style as Betty Paris, adding much needed yet unintendable levity to the grim proceedings. I take that one, Noodle Dumps. It was almost positive. That was a college production. You can't judge college productions. Her perambulatronics are all but unwatchable. See? Perambulatronics. That's a made up word. You can't make up words. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't be throwing stones, Miss Class Houses. I got plenty of good reviews. Sally McFadden performs adequately in the undemanding role of Clementine. <laughs> I'm not listening to this, all of you. It doesn't matter whether you listen to us or not. What matters is the directors and producers listening to us. What? What a dumb. Hey, what's that from? What a dumb. Who is that? I am the ghost of Rolls Off Limits. Dumbbell. It's from some goddamn Betty Davis picture. Some goddamn Warner Brothers epic. That, that's Martha from Virginia Wolf. I can still play that part. <laughs> Not with your reputation in this town, dearie. That's a lot of lines, honey. Let me look at you, but don't you look at me. Stella, oh no, no, not to be bathed and rested. And turn that overlight off. I won't be looked at in that merciless glare. I could still be up for Blanche. I'd make a great Blanche. Miss McFadden had the audience not only wishing for the paper lancers to dim the lights around her, but for the merciful Stanley to break every bulb and free the audience from having to view her performance. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they'll say, isn't it? Goodbye, Torvald. I won't see the little ones. I left the keys here. Goodbye. I won't ever be cast as Nora, will I? Oh, think if you missed that exit, sweetheart. Torvald, Rank, Kelmer. You have your hands full with English names. Two minutes into the Dawes house, the audience found itself in the unique position of screaming at the stage for Nora to leave now, for God's sake, now! Stop it. <laughs> Attention must be paid. Did I mention you forgot the chorus to Oklahoma? Stop it. Why, I bet you've missed your entrance altogether now. Out, out, damn spot. An otherwise lovely production with an outstanding blemish. I feel pretty. Oh, oh so, so pretty. pretty. Stop it! I don't care. I may have forgotten lines and missed entrances and gotten lousy reviews and been passed up for leading roles, but you know what? I was cast, and I keep on getting cast. 
you know what? Maybe I did something right, huh? Huh? And now I'm cast as the stupid handmaid in this stupid Scottish play. But you know what? I'm gonna go out there and say my one damn line and go out there and listen to my fellow actors and react because there's an audience out there that did not come to see Sally McFadden, but came to see this stupid Scottish play and to hear and feel something beautiful. And I get to be a part of that. A tiny, teeny, itty bitty part of that beauty. And so I'm gonna go out there and do my tiny, teeny, itty bitty part and be a damn best damn job I can do with what I've been given because I'm an actor because that is my job. Now get out of my way! Why dost thou cry, my lady? Now that was the exact right moment to enter. And exactly the right line. I was wrong. Not bad. Not bad at all. Huh. huh. It's delivered by a drab. Make the gruel thick and slab. Add thereto a tiger's chaldron for the ingredients of our cauldron. <laughs> double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn in cauldron bubble. <laughs> What are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? This is the one that I always miss. What are you doing here? And then I have to talk about <laughs> men's garters. But this is a line that I just... Christ, I don't know. You're absolutely right, that doesn't fit at all. It's, it's the most stupid anything. thing. Yeah. It's because it's a random line from a random show. No one's gonna even, the audience won't even get it. Sheila will know. Bruce is going to come she in. She will know. So <laughs> we might not know, but Sheila will. Men's garters. Okay, ready? Bruce is going to come into a lot of money someday. His men made a fortune. Shit. <laughs> no. Men made a fortune. Shit. I don't recall shit being in the script. You know. Bruce is going to come into a lot of money someday. His uncle made a fortune. All right. Bruce is going to. Bruce, Bruce is going to come into a lot of money stop, someday. Stop. No, we, yeah, we, we can keep going. We can keep going. Ready? Yeah. When you weren't staring blankly at your castmates, sure. <sighs> Pinch yourself. Cause yourself pain. And then you'll stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry. Put your hand down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. I don't believe this. Neither could your fellow <laughs> cast members in all wilderness stand in. What's up? Sure did. I messed up the line before anyway. So what about the road to hell, man? Have done that. Road to hell. What gonna... about the road to hell? See, that's why you don't just roll with the lines, you guys. I could have started. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Back off. <laughs> what is but the... then... Timing is never been. I messed up. Sorry. We got glasses for you, though. I'm you got to put them on the end of your nose, though. I'm just trying to see like if these yeah. might that these might work. Like that. You guys look at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look so bitchy. You look perfect. I am the ghost of reviews off. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my line. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, let's just do it. Sorry, guys. All right, let's do it. Fuck, okay, all right. Okay. Sally Mc... Okay, Sally McFadden... Are you, are you gonna say action? <laughs> <laughs> I, think you, I think you... Oh, my gosh. I don't think it's Betty White. Is it Betty White? You I said it. Betty White. You did. <laughs> it's Betty... <laughs> it's like Betty White. I, I wasn't gonna cut it off, but I was like, dang, was she like... in the crucible? Did I miss that? It's like, I didn't know... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. okay, I'm sorry. You got it. Levity to the grim proceedings. Levity to the grim proceedings. Levity to the Everybody grim proceedings. Everybody say that with him. Levity, Levity to, to the, the grim, grim proceedings. proceedings. Okay. I take that one, Noodle Dumps. It was almost positive. That was a college production. You can't judge college productions. Herber. Herber, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I... Two minutes into the doll's house, the audience. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm good. You were doing so good. You were like, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't hold it in any longer. Okay, I'm okay. Everyone's just great. Okay. Action. I am the ghost that rolls off limits. Oh, that was shit. Let's go again. Go ahead. Have fun. I can barely hold my eyes open. Okay. Scottish playing this stupid thing. Okay. I'm really glad we get to be a part of this thought process. This is incredible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. You guys are so good. Nice. Those like little ears. I did. <laughs> Some of the ones that sound like. I'm sorry. Oh, I had to like. <laughs> Put my tongue like on my teeth because I'm for a second, that. and it was like, oh man, that was incredible. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah.